the telly to Cristetti. And Manchester City are turning Old Trafford blue. has been reignited spectacularly by City's recent shift of ambition. Darren Fletcher, Johnny Evans, back to the Spaniard, David De Gea, first taste of this for him. Played in a derby at Wembley, the Community Shield, but it's his first competitive experience of this fixture. Aguero. And Nani having to track back. The goal kick that's given. The trap of tact as it always is. Capacity of 75,000, nowhere near sufficient for an occasion like this. Anderson looking for Welbeck. to Mancini has brought Manchester City a long way still the most important steps lie ahead Part for Manchester United. Kyle Kishi defeated to look after him today. Well, I think that's going to be a really interesting Manchester United's worst home defeat in the Premier League era. And now there is a smile. And here's Silva and Jekko. And where are Manchester United? This game cannot end quickly enough. For those in red. Five on three and Jekko could, well Jekko could have had a hat-trick since coming on. If his finishing would have been a little bit more clinical, that was a, well he should have done better. Should have scored and, and made it six. But, well, I'm almost speechless about how this game has, has turned around and the way City have, have won this game, not by being absolutely brilliant, they've just been steady away, they've been professional, they've been good. And, and Manchester United have really, more often than not, shot themselves in the foot. Well, it now is a day that will be a reference point for years to come. by Lescott and when the whistle goes there will be very few Manchester United supporters here here's Jekko couldn't be six could it it could you know a seismic day in English football no other way to describe it regime change power shift call it what you like totally unexpected truly spectacular and humiliating for Manchester United. This is a team that ripped Arsenal apart, scored eight goals against Arsenal and has suddenly conceded six against Manchester City. It's, it almost, it's almost unbelievable. And again, well, that could have easily been Dzeko's fourth. You know, Man City could have scored eight themselves here today. Mancini, well, he's somehow He's got it right. I wasn't quite sure before the game, but well done, Roberto Mancini and Manchester City. Yeah, driven rather than floated. So far. Barry the 
culprit. I'm a little bit surprised, really. We've got nearly five minutes gone, and that's the first tackle that we've had. Not some of the derbies that I used to play in for certain. Well, you made sure of that, didn't you? Well, you know, that was, the game has changed. Uh, I'll give it that, but I think, you know, Alex Ferguson will be quite cautious today. Certainly won't want to lose this game and, and lose even more down on City. Met in the community shield, it was a thrilling game back in early August at Wembley. City 2 0 up, lost 3 2. Anderson with the tackle, referee didn't like the angle from which he came in. And Sergio Aguero, who's 93rd minute goal, which is about a victory in the Champions League in midweek against Villarreal for Manchester City. Giving a massive lift as well coming into this game. You know, they've, they've struggled so far in the Champions League and, and some big games this season to really hit top form. But I think that last gas winner, they'll, they'll come into this now, top of the league, believing um, that, that they can really win here. So there, Rooney, as you're right, pulled off at the far post. No one really wanted to come out and mark him, protecting that goal area. The little clip to the far post, just slightly too high uh, for Anderson. But obviously something that United have looked at. Uh, you know, realise they're not maybe the, the biggest of teams. Uh, so coming into this, maybe try something a little bit different, a little bit inventive from set pieces. Silva. James Milner. The hair wasting no time in distributing to Young. Manchester City have won one of their last 32 games on this ground since Dennis Law's famous backfield in 1974 for City that relegated his former club down he goes and a decision for Mark Kattenberg to give and he wants words with Milner looks like it's just going to be a talking to it and I think the referee's right it's just a missed time tackle, you know, it's not particularly malicious, he's not trying to bring him down. Genuinely going for the ball and, well, I think Young almost falls onto him if you like. And I think that's the, certainly the, the last warning for Milner. That's a straightforward individual, James Milner, he'll be taking this on the chin. Any contest as well uh, down Manchester City's left hand side. David Silva's not really going to help back and, and support Gail Clichy. And I think Nani left one on one uh, could well be a, a crucial contest in who comes out on top. Company, who is the captain of Manchester City. No involvement for Carlos Tevez today. Smalling. Nani. Stored away by Lescott. Clichy. City starting the day two points ahead of United in the Barclays Premier League table. Stella starts, and here's Ashley Young. Mikri there to give Manchester United the decision. Well, Mika was just caught on his heels a little bit. Ashley Young here goes past him far too easily. And as I said, I think in the wide areas is going to be absolutely crucial today. The two Manchester United players, Young and Nani, against Mika Richards uh, and Clichy, are going to be so important. Speaks a former Manchester City defender. Danny Mills, our co commentator today. And Aguero. Calls for Ashley Young's tackle.
Good support. Shielded by Yaya Toure. Should have time to turn. Young. United just starting to dominate, having plenty of the ball. Barry. Young. Okay, into him was Richards. Protecting the power of the referee, Mark Lattenberg. Welbeck. Young. Really central for Manchester United here. And they'll wait for the corner. Well, good opportunity now. Johnny Evans coming forward, Smalling. Uh, unfortunately, this is where they miss the, the players like Vidic, who's always very, very dangerous in the air. City, got to concentrate, be live. We've got some big players in there, but if, if the delivery is good, it's all about getting first touch in the box. That's so crucial. And Wayne Rooney has adopted a position all on his own on the near side of the penalty area, trying to be ignored. Happy to be ignored, and now he's brought into play. Too much on it. Yeah, almost clever from Rooney and Anders Starts can get to you, can't they? When you're nearly 70. Oh, I feel like I'm nearly 70 some mornings. <laughs> That's right, Ferguson will turn 70 on New Year's Eve. And Blackburn are the visitors here. And in two weeks today, he completes 25 years in charge. Telly was back helping out. So well defended from City, it was a, a decent ball into the box, you know, head height, plenty of pace on it. It was a company that, that just got there you know, in the end ahead of Balotelli to, to clear it away. Manchester United will take a corner. Nearly 10 minutes gone now, and still really waiting for it to kick off. I think both teams being incredibly respectful of each other. Uh, like a couple of boxers just working out what's going on. Ball not in the quadrant. We'll try again. Anderson. City got to be more alert to that. Got away with the first one, played the second one short as well. Got to come out, got to get two players out there, two on ones, not acceptable. Anderson, intercepted by Barry. Rooney. Yaya Toure. Could have been improved by the fact that Ferdinand's clearance hit him in the face. And here's Evra, who's maybe rather fortunate still to be out there. Young. Jones. Well back. Now on the pace of Richards, get him there. Darren Fletcher, Hernandez back to Fletcher, lovely goal, that's a gem of a goal from Darren Fletcher, probably
Certainly too little, almost certainly too late, but one to remember nonetheless. Well, it's a, a magnificent finish. Again, City just stand off. It's Gareth Barry just turns his back on the ball. You know, his head goes towards the ball there. Look, he doesn't stay with the runner. Allows Fletcher that time and space. And I think that's probably United's real first opportunity on goal that hasn't been straight into Joe Hart's arms. Uh, and, and it wasn't a comfortable save. And well, eight, nine minutes to go, plus a bit of a bit of injury time. Let's wait and see. But I think you're probably right. Too little, too late. Come on, what else would you give me? Three, three. Uh, I'll keep my money in my pocket. Thank you very much. <laughs> a slightly more intriguing edge to the last 10 minutes or so of this game another one would make it fascinating Rooney here's Ebra well back Smalling. Jones slipped as he tried to cross, and that could be a platform for City. Toure. Nasri. City for me, sitting too deep. You know, not getting no tempo about their game. They've got to get some pressure on when it breaks forward. Aguero very, very isolated. Balotelli, smalling the offender. Balotelli, the build-up to his Manchester derby has been interesting. Well, as I said, no, no fireworks as yet uh, from, from <laughs> Balotelli. Only in the bathroom at his Cheshire home in the early hours of yesterday morning. Of course, the fire brigade to be called to an emergency fire. You've got the dates slightly wrong. That's, ne that's next month, I believe. Right. Bathroom. How curious though it was, has been completely torched. Around Barry Toure. Corner. Well, City's first real attack of more than two or three passes, then magnificent run from David Silva. Jinking in and out. Manchester United defenders know that they can't dive in, can't risk that tackle. He goes down, gives away a penalty, and now City have their first corner. James Milner to take it. Disappointing from James Milner. All the big guns have gone up for, for Manchester City. He's just overhit it. Rooney for Manchester United. Vision. And they dispossessed by Barry. It's a Manchester United throw. Yeah, good break, good ball from Rooney. Young, not quite able to take on his chest. Good defending from Gareth Barry. Into a court late. Advantage played. Fletcher. Young. Yeah. You said you're better off with a press down there. Build-ups to big games, the extraordinary is ordinary for Balotelli. Here's Michael Richards. Gareth Barry. Richards. Silver now. It's obviously difficult to start. Goodness me. And sevens is all over the place at the moment. Very, very easy for City, making the extra man pay. Substitutions from uh, Sir Alex Ferguson, maybe too little, too late. We, we have to wait and see. And from one down with ten men, maybe, but two down against a, a fairly rampant Manchester City. With one man less, that is a huge ask, even for Manchester United.
Toure. Manchester United managed it in the Community Shield, but with a full complement of players. Richards. Silva. Balotelli was lurking, sensing that treble. Good defending from Chris Small in there, just got in front of Balotelli. Had that they got in, that would certainly have been game over. Going to be a double change by Manchester United. Jones and Hernandez are going to come on. Balotelli. Silva. Side flags up. Anderson, the first player coming off. Nani is the second. Well, I think that'll mean Fletcher will go back into it. It's been quite easy for them up to now. Be the greatest derby in terms of quality today. It's had its share of dramatic moments. Brace of goals from Balotelli, a red card for Johnny Evans. And Manchester City attempting to show that regime change in Manchester is possible. Yaya Toure. And Rooney chasing back. It's with Richards now. And Rooney eventually gets a piece of the ball. Only as far as Barry. Now company. And I tell you, of course, on a hat trick. And no Manchester City player has backed one of those in the derby since Franny Lee on this ground 41 years ago. Jones is going to be introduced by Manchester United. Milner, creator of the second goal. Silva. It's a corner. And United look really at six to central midfield from where he's been playing at, at right back and just a, a case of whether Jones goes to either right back or, or centre back. And Rooney has come across for clarification from Mike Phelan, the assistant manager as to how Manchester United are going to play now. Hernandez has been central to one or two rescue acts of late for Manchester United, last season and this. This is a huge ask. He started positively by winning a corner. He did very, very well last week when he came on at Anfield as well and obviously got the goal. But I think it's almost Manchester United's new Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. You know, he comes off the bench, his, his goal record is phenomenal. But it's a massive ask for him to come on and, well, score three if they're going to win it. Manchester United have built a dynasty on achieving the unlikely on occasion. Fletcher. Jones. have is a refusal to acknowledge when they're beaten. Rooney hunting down Milner. And forcing the error. Wayne Rooney just got to keep his temper in check. He will be hugely frustrated at this. He hates losing. And I think you know, he just needs to be careful. His work rate and everything, he oh. doesn't go over the top. Everett going through Gareth Barry, and that's a yellow card for the French left back. Unfortunately, in this day and age, when you go in like that, he just overran it slightly. He did get the ball, but it will be deemed to be dangerous, uh, reckless tackle, if you like. Booking probably a, a fair result on that one. And David Platt is out there on the touchline with Mancini. Mancini acknowledging out of your picture the applause. 
the chance of his name from the section of City supporters. These two have been the heavyweights of the season so far. It looks like City have come here almost happy for a draw so far. They've sat back, you know, they've realised that if they don't get beat, they stay top of the league. And that will be absolutely crucial come obviously the end of the season. Mancini learnt his lesson so far this season. They've been out there, they've been attacking, but he realises if you, you know, don't lose against the big clubs around you, that's the key to winning Premier League titles. Who would have thought that of an Italian manager, Danny? Well, last season it was almost mandatory uh, that Roberto Mancini would be defensive, and that's the way he's set up. This season, the attacking players that have come in have almost taken it upon themselves to, to go out and play attacking football. And it looked quite an attacking lineup today, uh, with obviously with Silva, Aguero and, and Balotelli in there. But at the moment, uh, Silva and, and Balotelli play much, much deeper uh, than you would normally expect. Nani. Company. That's too easy for me. Uh, from Nani, quick throw in, nobody near him, all the time in the world to, to pick out a cross and should have done better really. Evans. He's wanted to nail that, he tries to release Aguero. Clichy. And away, only as far as Milner. Silva. Kishi. Skip this cross. T-shirt says it all. After an explosive build-up to the game for Balotelli, an explosive start for him on the pitch too. So Danny Mills, why always him? Well, it was an absolutely exquisite finish. Again, much against the run of play. Manchester United had all the possession. But again, nobody gets near um, David Silva. Too easy for him. James Milner, completely unmarked. Balotelli, no real pressure on him. But that's an excellent finish. As you see it come across, Milner just rolls it back. Balotelli side puts it into the corner of the net. That is an absolute, truly magnificent finish. But again, no pressure on the ball. And that's really been the tempo of the game so far. But I would probably say that's Man Manchester City's first real attack on goal apart from the, the jinky little run from Silva and well so far Mancini's got his tactics absolutely spot on Balotelli's spoken to about his t-shirt by the referee but he's got the ball again and he's trying to feed Aguero Barry Vichy Balotelli, in the end, a recipient of a yellow. Well, holding his shirt over his head to show the T-shirt and the slogan. Which I've got to admit, I, I just don't get that. I think we saw it yesterday when Sharma scored. You know, take your shot. Let's have a bit of humour in the game. You know, life is far too serious at times. It, it wasn't offending anybody. A few people would have had a, a laugh and a joke about it. Oh, but come on, referees, and come on, let, let's change the rules. Let's, this is an entertainment sport, let people entertain. Very valid point. Clichy. Adventurous run by the fullback. Very adventurous run by Gar Clichy. Aguero now. Oh. Too high for Balotelli. 
Richards. Milner. Down goes Richards. Everett at fault. Continuing drama of the latest instalment of the Manchester Derby sees Manchester City with this free kick. Seems a little fussy. Manchester City are quite happy with the free kick they've taken. No matter, here's Toure. His brother Colo is on the bench for Manchester City today. Silver again. And Milner, Balotelli, two for City. And Manchester City are turning Old Trafford blue. Well, as City celebrate Manchester United defence, Anderson and all sorts of people raise their arms asking questions. David Silver does magnificently well there to stay on his feet, could have gone down. There you go, James Milner, Mr Consistency, working his absolute socks off, running all over the place, making runs. Great little ball in, look at that. Put a good cross in earlier, but Balotelli certainly can't miss from there. And Suddenly now he's on a hat-trick uh, in a Manchester United derby, which certainly for City players doesn't happen too often. And Manchester City are heading for a five-point lead over their rivals. And the contrasting moods so clear between the two groups of supporters. Well, I think Old Trafford now is almost in shock. Uh, I think that happened in the first half. It's been very, very quiet here all afternoon. And suddenly now, 2-0 down, a man down, United are, are going to have to uh, pull out a miracle. Uh, performed one or two of those before, but City are in the mood. This is Aguero, hauled down by Anderson. And this time, it is a yellow card for the Manchester United midfielder. I think they, Wayne Rooney's having a word with the referee. United got to be careful, they don't get over-frustrated. But again, I think maybe this sort of performance has been coming against one of the top sides. You know, last week I thought Manchester United were, were poor by their standards against Liverpool. Before that, even at Norwich, when Norwich came here, they could have gone and, and won the game. You know, they had great chances, Norwich did, to, to beat Manchester United on their own ground. And it's not been vintage United for me for, for four or five games. And they've come up against a very, very good Man City side. But haven't had to do an awful lot. Um, but it's it is the Manchester City fans who are making the majority of the racket inside Old Trafford. Such as it is, it is pretty quiet really overall. The huge majority of the 75,000 plus present are here to back those in red, not those in blue. Crisp from City, it's Richards, it's three, Sergio Aguero. No doubt now about the outcome. Completely Manchester City's dead. Well, that has to be it for me. It, it, it's game over, certainly now. I think Mancini and David Platt were going to make a substitution whether they change their minds now about who comes off or if anyone comes off. But again, good play from Balotelli. The ball comes into him. It's a great little flick, the awareness. And again, the, the ball across the box. That's a, a fantastic ball. It's so inviting across that six-yard box. And... It's Mika Richards, he's spared because of the extra man and suddenly Aguero comes in and, and he can't miss and really City, have, in all honesty, I think have maybe had four shots on goal, scored three goals. So it's been a, a fantastic tactical performance so far but certainly now I cannot see United getting back into this at all. Well here is Hernandez, he's lost it to Vincent Company. Aguero's ninth Barclays Premier League goal of the season, drawing him level with, level with Wayne Rooney.
although the foul was from over there. I just think Wayne Rooney has got to calm down a little bit. He, he's almost... And they'll stay down a while for Manchester City. Here's Fletcher. Now Rooney. to the referee or tell them to get up yeah I think he just tried to roll the defender there turn his back into him didn't quite get the ball and no for me definitely not a penalty the referee says company got the ball and he did yeah you see it again Rooney was just waiting he did a bit more pace on the pass wanted to roll company but good defender nicked in front and got his toe there Newcastle United, the other one with a, an unblemished record. 